guys, what's going on? It's Alex here for TechFlow, and I'm gonna be real with you. For the last five years of my life, I've been an avid tile user. And for the last year or so, we've had so many rumors of the AirTag, and it's finally. Basically, I'm here to compare Apple's latest and greatest, the brand new AirTag, to the already wildly popular tile system. By the end of this video, you should know what tracker is best for you and where it's gonna be best for you to put your money. Okay, so let me set the scene. Alex, yeah me, super, super clumsy. So Tile has basically, for the last five years or so, been my best friend at helping me locate my lost items, whether it be my car keys or my wallet. Now I'm gonna put the new AirTag right up against the Tile tracker, and I'm also gonna let you guys know what happens if you actually lose one of the AirTags and there's somebody else in range to hopefully help you find it. But first, we need to go over all of the current available Tiles, because, well, there's a few. First off, we've got the Tile Pro, which is the device that I have kept on my keys for the last two to three years. Next up, we've got the Tile Slim. Again, I've had this in my wallet for the last three years, and it's slim because it's it's meant to fit in a wallet. It is actually shaped like a card. Next up, we've got the Tile Sticker, which in the lineup is the most like the actual AirTag itself, and these are the cheapest. They have a user-replaceable battery and come in at £17.50 each. I have two of these. I have one on my RC drone, in case I ever lose it, and the second one, well, it's actually in my dog's collar, so I can help locate my dog. So it's safe to say I already have a really good knowledge of the whole Tile ecosystem, being locked into it for the last five years. I know what I like from the system and what it does well, and I know what I don't like and what I wish to see improved. And that gives me a really good base of what I want to expect from these AirTags. If me, Alex Brooks, am to switch over from my already in place tiles to these brand new AirTags. I picked up the four pack. Now one thing to note, to get these devices tied to your iDevice, you need to make sure you're running iOS 14.5. I wasn't and it gave me a little prompt to do so. Once I'd updated my phone to 14.5, it found the AirTag, it let me set it up, give it a name, and it was pretty much golden. There it was in the Find My app. Honestly, my grandma could set one of these AirTags up. The downside to that is, and you already knew this, if you've got an Android phone, you can't use AirTags at all. Period. Now, all great so far. Once you've got your AirTag set up and tied to your Apple ID, the first problem comes into fruition. You've already bought your AirTags and you think that's all you're going to need to buy. But unfortunately, that's not the case at all. To actually attach the AirTag to something to then track that item, you need to spend a further 35 pounds on what Apple are calling the leather keychain for the actual AirTag itself. So as well as the 29.99 upfront cost for a single unit, you've gotta buy another thing to attach the thing to the thing. Now obviously that's absolutely no issue at all with tile because well, if you take the tile sticker for example, it's sticky so it can stick to things and the actual other tiles that are made purposely for keys and things, well, they have a little loop in them so you can just put them straight on your keys. Now, because I'm a long time tile user, I do understand why Apple haven't taken this approach. And that's because I've had numerous broken tiles. I am not very careful with my keys. I get home, I throw them onto the countertop. The amount of tiles that I've had that are broken because of this is unbelievable. And I've just had to buy new ones. With having an actual material or case surrounding the actual AirTag itself, you would hope that would add to its longevity as you throw your keys about every single day. Hopefully the AirTag isn't going to break. Another big issue right out of the gate here for me, and this is a reason as to why you might want to stick with Tile or go with Tile over AirTags, and that's because Tile actually make dedicated trackers for certain items. Take the Slim, for example. This is a basically a credit card sized tracker that fits in in your wallet, so the profile is super, super slim. You wouldn't even know it was in there. But if you've got a small wallet like mine and you put one of these air tags in, you can really feel it just sort of protruding out the side of the wallet. So the bottom line is the air tags are much more expensive to get set up as you need something else to actually attach the air tag to whatever you want to track. But is that extra cost going to be worth it? Well, I suppose we need to find out. And to find out, <sighs> 
we need something to track. I do feel like the turn by turn directions are a little bit of a gimmick, but they do work and I can't really say otherwise. If you can't hear the audible sound, then this is a great way to find your items. As long as you're, I don't know, under about 10 foot away already. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work. To be honest, I think in the real world, people, if they've lost something, aren't gonna be messing around with a gimmick arrow thing on their phone. They're just gonna simply click the play sound button and use their own ear holes to locate the object themselves. Talking about the speakers, let's compare the speaker on the AirTag to the tiles. Take a listen for yourself. Now I do have to say, out of all three of the tiles that I tested, so the Pro, the Slim, and the Sticker, they were all noticeably louder than the AirTag. But obviously the AirTag's party trick is that it can, well, locate the item literally with the U1 chip with the arrow. So it just depends what you want. I think the AirTag is loud enough and it's going to help you find your items regardless. What happens if you've misplaced an item? And I don't just mean misplaced in your local area, I mean it's actually somewhere where your phone isn't. How are you gonna get your item back? Now, before we get into the rest of this video, just a quick word from our sponsor, Clean My Mac. Now you guys know I only really bring sponsors onto my channels if it's products that I've used and tested in the past, you know, before they've sponsored me, being organic and all of that. I've actually been a paying customer of Clean My Mac X for the last two years. Let me explain why. Now back in the day I was originally looking for a feature to help me figure out what was taking up my disk space on my 256 gigabyte laptop. And it just said turns out Clean My Mac X has a feature called Space Lens, which basically helps you visualize all the files on your Mac in order of file size to basically help you get rid of the large files that you just don't need. It's not just that though, the bottom line is Macs are really well optimized computers. They only really start to get slow when they're clogged up with loads of random user data. And when your Mac gets slow, it hangs. You know you've been there and that's your time that that Mac is wasting. Especially if you apply that concept to something like what I do, which is video editing. If you're waiting hours and hours and hours for your videos to render because you've got a slow Mac, then that is time out of your Pocket. So if you guys would like to get a piece of the Clean My Mac X action, I will put a link down there below that like button so you guys can take advantage of an awesome piece of software that I myself have been using for over two years. Okay, so what happens if you lose one of these air tags then? It's out of the range of your phone. How are you gonna get notified where your item is? Now what I did to test this was take one of the air tags around to my family home. Everybody in that house is running 14.5 on their iOS devices and I left that air tag there and came back to mine. Lo and behold, literally 20 minutes later, the device appeared back in the Find My network. It seemed to update the location about every 15 to 20 minutes. Now just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna open up the Tile app on my phone and as you can see, my M2C keys right here. Let's see, yeah, so this updates about every five hours. My keys, this Tile is with somebody else that has Tile on their phone and it doesn't update as quick or as frequently as the AirTags do. I actually wanted to do a test to see what iDevices actually can ping you the location of an AirTag. Unfortunately, doesn't seem to work with my MacBook at all, even though my MacBook has GPS and the Find My app. However, if I leave the house, but my iPad is at home, this thing can tell me that I've left my keys here, or I have left the dog at home, or if the dog is still at home. Like I said, it updates every 15 to 20 minutes. So Alex, what's your final thoughts? Should we buy air tags? Do you like tile? What are you doing? What's your thoughts after a week? Uh, let's start with Tile. I don't think Tile are going anywhere. They've got a huge user base of Android users that are still gonna love and enjoy their product. And I'm also partial to Tile on the fact that they make different tiles for different things, like the actual wallet tile, the Tile Slim. The actual AirTag keeps falling out of my wallet, so I think I'm gonna completely stop having an AirTag in my wallet and keep using the Tile Slim for that specific purpose. 
Am I going to switch the main majority of my trackers over to the Apple AirTag? The answer is yes, and let me explain why. The first thing is I like that the app is on all of the devices. So let's say I've left my phone downstairs and I'm here with my iPad. I can go ahead and go on the Find My App on my iPad, see the locations of all of my friends and all of my devices in the one app. And that is just one of the perks of being locked into the Apple ecosystem. The second one is the bigger network. In my opinion, it's bigger anyway, just because of the reporting back of lost tiles. Let me explain. Like you've seen, it says the location of your lost tile within the last five hours. Whereas the location of a lost air tag, as long as there's somebody nearby with an eye device that can report, updates between 15 and 20 minutes. You are highly more likely to find your air tag than you are with a tile, just because it reports so much more frequently. And on top of that, I think the network is much bigger anyway. You know what I mean? There's so many more iPhones around than there is tile users with all the permissions set on their phone to track. Because yes, you can have the Tile app on your phone, but if it doesn't have the correct permissions to use your GPS all the time, even when the app's closed, it is not going to report on your tiles or anybody else's. Fact, whereas the AirTags, it's basically baked into the iOS system. If you're really struggling to find an object, it does actually help. There was one point when I was stood outside of my garage and my car, and I didn't know if my keys were to the left towards the garage or in the car. I simply clicked the find button on my phone and the arrow just pointed straight at the car, so I basically knew where to go. I thought it was a gimmick, but it actually does work. So yeah, two pretty cool, interesting products that are kind of neck and neck. One does one thing better than the other and the other one does the other thing better than the other. It's a hard one. Ultimately, you can decide. But I've shown you what's on the table, guys. My name's been Alex. This has been TechFlow. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, I missed the, f missed the camera. <laughs>